guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is just going to be me trying new products on camera. I recently just got back from a 10 day vacation, the first in four years since we've taken a vacation. And I have a ton of products I've been wanting to test out and try out. So this is going to just be like a fun get ready with me using new products. I will of course test everything thoroughly in Makeup Bag Mondays, which is a series up every Tuesday where I rotate my makeup bag and makeup collection with new and old products and test it out for a full seven days and get back to you guys every week. I also hide Instagram giveaways over there as well as I have two large boxes. I'm going to be doing Instagram giveaways on my Insta stories um, for those who are active, uh, engaged followers over on Instagram. Right. I have been slacking on trying this new NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have this. I was color matched a few months ago. Yeah, that's how behind I am on this foundation. And then I have the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium 1 Custard. So this is not new to me, this is a new one. I haven't used it in a really long time and then I thought I would try this foundation out. Um, I'm not gonna wear any primer because I am wearing the Kula, <clears throat> sorry my voice is still kind of trying to come back. Um, I'm wearing the Kula Sun Silk Drops and that's like a really nice primer almost when you use it over your moisturizer. You can also mix that into your moisturizer. More on that in a new video. Here's the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I am in the shade Santa Fe, which is M2. So hopefully this will still match me. I have a little more color than normal. And as always, I will list all the products I use in the description box for your convenience. My brush, my little mini palm brush. Okay, I need a mirror. Let's use this mirror from the Natural Face palette by Too Faced. This is new. Love this giant mirror. So I have so many palettes. I have so many bronzers and blushes to test out. I don't know where I'm really going to start. It'll just be kind of like as I chat with you, I'll pick something. And if you guys want to see <clears throat> more videos like this where I just test out a whole face of new things to me, let me know because I love to film them for you. I think the color still works. It's a little bit light, but nothing I can't bronze up. The night light medium coverage which is what I prefer I like less foundation whenever possible I hate that feeling of like caked on makeup and I also hate the look of foundation when it looks like you can come up to me and scratch it off but that's my personal preference there are times for that like an event a gala I mean for prom those kind of situations I definitely pack it on a little bit more Especially if I know I'm going to be photographed. That's really all I needed. I pumped way too much out. I probably only needed like half a pump to one pump. It's okay. I got a towel. Let's wipe that extra foundation off. Concealer. I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy. This is like a really great concealer. I used to be obsessed with it. This is a brand new one. I haven't used it in such a long time. With this, because it is so emollient, it's great if you have drier under eyes like I do. I also have really thin skin under my eyes. So I just apply it on the inner corners and then you see how I like draw it almost under where that shadow starts and it puffs because if I do too close to my fine lines right there, it'll crease. Um, but you can solve that with setting it too. Oh, I need brushes. Look at that book. I'm going to use my Oval 4 from Artiste. Oh, I forgot how much I like this concealer. So I have my window open, and I think there's wind chimes going on outside. Oh look, there's a dog pooping. <laughs> uh, when your house hasn't been aired out in a while, you want to air it out when you get home. This is the new Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I love it because it catches, there's this little hole, so powder comes out, but it catches, like it stops at some point, so you're not going to have too much. And then this is the brush that you can buy that goes with it, or you can just use what you have at home. But I love their brushes. So I'm just going to do that. I'm actually going to probably set very gently. I love this powder. I know um, a couple of you guys said that there are mixed reviews on it. I love it. I have normal to dry skin. I have an oily T-zone, and I love this powder. It's very 
translucent, it sets everything, it blurs everything, and it doesn't look powdery, which is what you expect because Hourglass makes beautiful powders that don't look powdery, that doesn't age you. So, you know, being in my 30s, I want anything that doesn't age me. I'm gonna go in with my Elate Cosmetics Brow Balm. I've been testing this out for a while now. I do like it, but if you're super oily, I don't think you'll like it at first. You'll need to set your brows with a translucent powder because it it's like a waxy balm. It's not a powder powder and it's not a pomade so it's like ooh, if you're already kind of oily from your skincare you won't have enough like um traction to get that wax to stay so definitely powder your brows first if you are super waxy if you're super oily not waxy this is waxy shade smoke I feel like I could go even a shade darker I do like it I like that it kind of controls your brow hairs and also fills them in this is the first time I'm putting on like a full face of makeup for me because I didn't really wear any makeup I wore very minimal makeup if any while I was away and I did film a get ready with me while I was in Mexico I will upload that very soon but I'm gonna go all out and even use a little glossy boy brow and if you guys didn't know glossy is coming to LA if you're LA based I'm going to go preview the store tomorrow and meet my Glossier buddy for the first time in real life. This gives it like a little bit more of a feathery look. And when it comes to eyeshadows, I have so many to play with. I'm kind of at a loss. I wish I could ask you guys and you could tell me right now. I guess I could do a live with this next time. So the first one I have is the Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow Palette. This is so, so pretty. But it's kind of gloomy outside, so I feel like this isn't like appropriate. I should do this when it's sunnier. It's Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie Patootie Palette, which is really pretty. The shimmers are gorgeous. I love that she improved the packaging and the mirror on her second palette. I think she did a great job. I have to try the eyeshadow still, them, like the actual eyeshadow themselves. And then I also have this one, which is the one I think I'm going to probably go towards. It's the Estee Lauder by Violet. Um, I'm obsessed with Violet underscore FR um, on Instagram and on YouTube. And I guess she's the creative director or artistic director of Estee Lauder. So she created this beautiful poppy savant. Is it? I'm probably ruining that. Poppy something. Eyeshadow palette is really pretty. It's very like neutral, but something different. And I really think she like made Estee Lauder color a little bit cooler and younger. And then there's this Estee Lauder uh, Soft Glow for Lip and Cheeks. It's for a natural dewy highlight. Uh, I actually brought this with me on vacation. There's this cheek and blush color. Undressed from Nudie Patootie is what I will start with. Ah, I'm gonna start with Undressed, which is this like beigey shade to set my eyes because my eyes are always kind of like darker than the rest of my face i haven't worn like actual eyeshadow in so long i'm gonna go in with this matte reddish brown shade on the corner and i'm gonna do that in my crease I'm focusing most of the color on the outer corner and then I just pull in the rest. So I know I'm a little bit behind because I actually saw Avengers Infinity Wars when it came out, but I didn't really get to talk about it because I haven't filmed since I saw it and I went on vacation. But I don't know if you guys know this, I'm like a huge fan of Avengers um, or Marvel. And I just, I'm, I still think about it, guys. Like, I thought about this stupid movie. It's not even stupid, but I thought about it for, like, days after I saw this movie. And I'm just like, ugh. And then I was thinking, like, I'm so sad about it. I'm trying not to give any spoilers, but I'm so sad about it because I've invested about 10 years of my life with these characters, these actors, the storyline, and I just feel like when this comes to an end... I'm gonna be really, really bummed because there's one more movie, but if it comes to an end, and I have a feeling how it's gonna end because most of these actors are probably over it and don't wanna make 
movies, Marvel superhero movies for the rest of their lives. Some of them are getting older and they probably want to move on. I was just like, oh, anyways, I'm using this shimmery strip on my brow bone and inner corners of my eyes. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm going to use this really pretty reddish shimmer on the center. Okay, this brush thing is not working as well with the shimmer, so I'm going to just go in with my fingers. There we go. This cranberry shade is more of like a pressed glitter. So it works better with your fingers. I'm gonna go back in with that brown that I used in my crease earlier to kind of redefine it. I'm using this little baby brush from Milani. It's my favorite. I'm gonna go in with this deep brown on the outer corner just to deepen that up. Going with my finger with that shimmery shade just in the center for a little bit more of a dimension and pop. I'm gonna line my eyes with this Estee Lauder uh, Deluxe Eye Crayon in Terra de Or. This is also part of that collection. I actually use this a lot on vacation because I just smudge it all over my lids and blend it out. I'm going to use a heated curling wand to kind of help curl my lashes. I'm trying not to crimp my lashes anymore because I was experiencing a lot of breakage and fallout from over using mascara and over curling my lashes because I have stick straight Asian lashes. I don't get quite as intense of a curl with a heated curler, but if I use the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, I don't even feel like I need a curler. This just intensifies that look. So we'll see how the lash lick works with this. And it's supposed to be nourishing, so I'm only using mascaras that are supposed to be nourishing to hopefully help with the fallout of my lashes. I also do use Grande Lash. I've taken a break from using Grande Lash for a little bit, and I just started using it again. So I've noticed a significant difference since using Grande Lash and also avoiding using a crimping curler and using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara because that has cannabis oil that's really nourishing. With the heated curler, I just do one eye at a time and then I go in with mascara. This wand's really interesting. It's a rubber wand. On first impression, I like the wand because it actually, I can feel it grabbing my lashes and pulling and distributing the product. It's not clumpy whatsoever. It's definitely separating and creating like a feathery effect. It's lengthening. Quite impressed with it. Definitely more of like a natural look. So I'm going to go in with this eye. Definitely pretty happy with this mascara. It's a feathery effect. So you're gonna get that really like wispy, feathery look, but it curled my lashes, it added length, and it defined them a bit. Not quite as voluminous or dramatic as the Milk Makeup one, but this one is more of that like feathery, is she wearing mascara? Or is that her natural beautiful lashes with like clear gel? Very fitting for Glossier. Really like the application method of this too. I'm gonna try a third coat and see what happens. You guys I'm really actually impressed I don't know if you guys can see it on camera but in real life like when I look at myself in the mirror this eye I did a better job but it's really feathery and long and it just looks like I have very natural lash extensions in Wow I'm pretty impressed with this it's definitely like a longer feathery effect whereas the milk makeup one is a voluminous dramatic effect. Both are good in my opinion. It depends on your mood, I feel like. 
so we'll see how this works it's supposed to be easy to remove but last all day so we'll see how that works tonight when I try to take this off because what I like about the milk one is that it doesn't move until I want it to come off and it comes off really easily because I hate having to scrub my eyes that's how I lose lashes um, and I'm trying to not lose any more lashes guys just just saying try not to be a bald rat bald cat I don't know these are the beach bronzers I still don't know this smells good. Here is Sunkissed. I wonder if that's brown enough. Bronzy enough. Brown, bronze. This might not be brown enough now that I have a tan. Maybe. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Let's go in with a blush. I think I'll use... Let's use this pink wink. I never normally would go with something like that, but let's play. Use my palm mini and kind of blend that in. You know what's really impressive is that none of the stuff is clinging to this area that always clings to makeup for me. No matter how much I blend, I always have a problem. No, nothing is doing that right now. Highlight, I'm gonna use this satin sheets down here. Okay, now time for some lip colors. Here is my Bite lip liner. I've repurchased this because this is almost done. This is the 036 and it's one of my favorites because it's my lips but better. And then a good one that lasts longer than the Bite one is the Sable shade from Jouer. Or Jouer Longwear Lip Cream or Creme Lip Liner and Sable is like my go-to one. This usually lives in my purse. So this is the Bite one. Do Violet Pure Color Envy in 215. So what I do with lip color, especially for spring summer, I put it on, I blend it, and I kind of just so it doesn't look so like perfect. It's really pretty color. And then, oh, I have a setting spray I want to try out from Cover FX, the dewy one. It's new. It's, um, it's alcohol free. Let me go grab it. So this is new. This is their dewy finish setting spray. I don't know if my sprayer is broken, but I didn't feel that. Do I look dewier? I don't know that I look dewier. I think I look a little more finished. Like there's no powder effect or anything like that. So that is my finished look playing with all these new products. Let me know if you want any of these products in a makeup bag Monday where I test it out for a full week. And if you are curious about any of these products, I will have everything linked in the description box. Don't forget to check me out over on Instagram because I am doing some major giveaways for those who are highly engaged on my Instagram account. I am also doing a lot of travel vlogs because we filmed pretty much every single day that we were traveling. We were in Sedona, Arizona, and then we went to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. I got sick. I'm not a great traveler, but I vlogged it all for you guys. What we did, what we ate, and just like travel diaries essentially over on my second channel, More Serene. I also filmed a Get Ready With Me, my favorite sun care products, and a um, I'm going to film a Mexico haul. I'm also going to film my like what's in my carry-on bag like actually what's in my carry-on purse i haven't even unpacked it lots of fun travel videos that will hopefully help you for spring summer when you guys are traveling this holiday season make sure you check out this channel subscribe if you haven't already it means the world it shows your support give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave me a comment to say hi i love reading your comments and i'll see you guys over on my insta stories and instagram account there's lots of vacation photos definitely check those out as well as always thank you so much for watching i hope my video helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. At the end of the day, I just hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was you might have needed help taking your mind off of. So until next time, I'll see you every Tuesday and Sunday, but I have a ton of bonus uploads. So just subscribe, turn on that post notification so you hopefully will get a notification every time I upload, which will most likely be three to four times a week from now through June. 
So definitely turn on that post notification. Okay, bye.